to give them a warm warm thank you for that wonderful dance and in case you wondered what the masks were all about the name of the dance is derived from the masks which are worn during initiation your excellency sir allow me at this point to now call upon the ceo for kenya tourism board madam june to come and make some opening remarks why don't you give her a warm welcome as she approaches the stage karibu sana Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, introduced, I'm June Chepkeme, the CEO of Kenya Tourism Board. We are a government entity mandated by the government of Kenya to promote Kenya as a premium tourism destination. We do so through our two critical brand assets. One is Magical Kenya, that's the asset that you use to market Kenya internationally, and locally we use Tembea Kenya to promote local tourism. One of the marketing initiatives that we utilize to continue to market this amazing destination is the Magical Kenya Travel Expo. This expo is a platform for B2B engagement between our travel trade outside of the country and those locally to meet and begin to have conversations that can support our marketing effort. We also have networking sessions, we have seminars, and we have engagements to strengthen the relationship between our trade partners. And over the years, this expo has hosted over 25,000 delegates. This year alone, Your Excellency, we have registered 4,000 delegates. Among the delegates, we have hosted buyers. These are the trade out of the continent, out of the country that we bring. And from Thursday, we started exposing them to our product in the recently launched nine circuits for them to just experience and enable them to immerse themselves and understand the product that they are promoting. We are kicking off today, Your Excellency, with the opening, then we begin to engage. And for the first time, we have incorporated the academia. We appreciate the role that the academia plays the role that the government plays, the private sector, and the non-state actors in really leveraging and building on tourism to transform the economy and to create jobs. And therefore, uh, we want to thank you for finding time to come to this amazing, magical destination, because Kenya is the real deal. This is the real deal. <laughs> this is the real deal. 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 And maybe a question to all Kenyans. Is that Kenya? Is that Kenya? Have you seen Kenya that way? Turn to your neighbor and tell them this is the real deal. 
Absolutely. And by virtue of the fact that we are hosted in Nairobi, why don't you allow me, Your Excellency, to invite the Governor of Nairobi County to just come and also make a few remarks. As he comes, why don't we give him a warm welcome? Karibu, Sachs. This is the real deal. Your Excellency, you lead a beautiful country. Um, God has gifted us as Kenyans with everything you'd look for in a tourism product and in a tourism package, from the most beautiful, pristine sandy beaches to a tropical rainforest in Kakamega to wildlife in the Mara and in the north and to, of course, Nairobi, the only capital in the world with a natural national park where you can look at animals in their untouched habitat and in the background you have a skyline of a capital city. Don't we have a beautiful country? Um, Waziri Rebecca Miano, you have to give me a commission because I've brought you a few tourists from across the continent of Africa. Um, I have mayors and governors um, who are on a leadership program um, in Nairobi and we felt that it would be nice to bring them to see what we have in magical Kenya. I'll just quickly introduce them. Um, of course, we have Governor uh, Olelenku of Kajiado, with whom we share the Nairobi National Park to some extent. Um, we have Jamie Cooper, the president of Big Win Philanthropies. We have uh, Madam High Excellency Monica Gengos, the former First Lady of Namibia. She's here with us. We have uh, the Mayor of uh, Freetown, Ivona Kisoya. Freetown is the capital of Sierra Leone. We have the president of Harar region, he's here with us in Ethiopia. We have David Coltier, the mayor of Bulawayo, um, uh, he's here with us. We have Kesete, former minister for health of Ethiopia, he's with us. Hastings Chikoko is there. We have the mayor, two mayors from Zambia actually. Um, three, yes, three from Chris. We have Ndiko, we have Jonas from Zambia, please let's clap for them. Now who have I missed out? I think that's the... That's the team. Of course, Edgar, Edgar Peters, who's uh, the president of uh, Africa Cl uh, Cities program at the University of Cape Town. Oh, of course, my very good friend, Queen, the mayor of Windhoek, uh, Namibia. They say, they say Windhoek. Uh, we need to learn how to pronounce it. Um, Your Excellency, thank you for earlier on meeting these mayors. Um, when the dance was going on, um, Her Excellency, the First Lady of Namibia, told me that you would mistake those dancers to be a woman in Namibia. We have so much in common in Africa. As we put together these packages, I think Waziri and the Tourism Board, and thank you so much, Madam CEO, let us try and connect our continent better. Our President has, has opened up this country, thank you. Um, you don't need a visa to come to Kenya for one special reason. And we are competing with Madam Monica. She says that the Khoisans and Khoikhois were here earlier. But the earliest fossils of humankind have been found in Kenya. So when we welcome our visitors, we tell them this is the real deal and welcome home. We also have with us uh, the former Vice Chancellor of um, the University of Cape Town, Madam Amfela, who is also a serious figure in the you know, struggle for you know, the liberation of the Republic of South Africa. Asante Nisana Karibuni Kenya. As I close, please, Kenyans, we cannot sell our country if we are always negative. We need to be positive about our country. We need to be positive about our country. The mayors I have, I have shown them just a few things in Nairobi. And many times it's easy for us to forget that God has blessed us. And sometimes we focus on the negative. We have a beautiful country, beautiful weather all around. We have an amazing president who understands you know, um, you know, whatever you bring to him, he's able to, to, to put it clearly. A champion for climate change with the environmental capital of the world, with UNEP here. So please, even if there are two things you don't like, say five things that are working about our country called Kenya. Asante Nisana, Mungu Awabariki, congratulations for this beautiful, magical Kenya. Whatever you require from the counties. I've seen you've listed nine counties. I've seen my minister... Uh, who is in charge uh, of, of, of tourism is here with us. Whatever you recover from our counties, on behalf of the Council of Governors, I can assure you that we're here to work with you. The only thing you have not yet done, Your Excellency, you promised us that we will share money from the parks and the game reserves. I'm waiting, and I know how much Nairobi National Park makes. I am very ready to receive that money. It was Rebecca Miano from the gate, uh, you know, from the ticketing in the park. May God bless all of you. Karibuni Kanairo, Karibuni Nairobi.
Thank you very much, Your Excellency the Governor. Your Excellency, sir, today we are also joined by quite a number of stakeholders, but allow me to call Fred Odek, who's the chair for Kenya Tourism Federation, to speak on their behalf. Why don't we give him a warm welcome as he's approaching the stage? Welcome, sir. Good afternoon. Allow me to ride on the protocols already provided um, at the beginning of this, this session, Mr. President, Madam Rebecca Miano, all the ministers in the house, good afternoon again. Mine is very simple. First, I would like to welcome all the guests in Kenya. And as been mentioned that the Kenya real deal, the problem we have is, do we actually have a chance to sample it? Does the country have a chance to actually serve the guests? I think that should be the first thing we need to do. We need to use the people already on the ground in Kenya to be our first ambassadors to market the country. And how we do that is that we need to ensure through the president's office that we provide enough security in our country to ensure that the delegates in our country are free not just to go to the national parks, but to enjoy Nairobi nightlife. You cannot sell a country if people cannot actually sample the country. So let's use this chance to sample the country so that we do not spend more money in marketing while they can do that on our behalf. They can talk about it, they can tweet about it, they can Instagram it and allow the world to see it. Number two, the private sector in the country this is your chance to actually ensure that you make meaningful journey of partnerships. Because the people that are coming in for the expo are actually looking for partnerships to work with us. Your Excellency, tourism offers you the easiest mode for investment. Because we need to expand our country so that people can visit it. But tourism actually is the easiest way to actually attract investment. So let's harness tourism to attract investment, not just to the parks, but for the cities within Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, Eldoret, Nakuru, and the rest. Now, my appeal, Bwana Sakaja, you mentioned that you want revenues from our parks. Bwana President, you cannot give Sakaja money until you give enough money to Madam June to help you to market the country. Um, Bwana Lelenko, you cannot take our money before June gets her share. And I would like to make a sec second appeal, Mr. President. We, as the private sector, pay a lot of money to Masai Mara as a destination. I've been a chair for the last three years. Masai Mara has never given back money to KTB. While everybody in this room markets Masai Mara, Madam CS, our request, we lack revenue share. Not for us as private sector, but we want a revenue share from Masai Mara to go to KTB to allow KTB to have enough kitty to market the country. We compete across the globe. We are going for WTM. We don't have money enough to actually ensure that Kenya as a country takes its rightful place at WTM. And we can do that by ensuring that we don't harass the national government, but we get money from the beneficiaries of tourism in the counties. So if we can do that, then we benefit by marketing the country better and we get better revenues. Um, my last remarks. We would wish, as the private sector, to bring to the attention of the national government that the policies being put in place for tourism would need us to participate in them so that we can advise as tourism players on which areas that we need to be hastened faster. Um, we know that there are a number of airlines coming in the country. We would like you to ensure that those airlines are assisted to settle in faster because they add us more numbers as we look for numbers in tourism. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And Your Excellency, now allow me to invite the Cabinet Secretary for Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife, Honorable Rebecca Miano, 
to recognize the CSs and PSs present and also make her remarks. Let's give her a clap as she's coming. Welcome, Madam Waziri. Your Excellency, the President, before I say anything, allow me to invite the Chairman of the National Assembly Committee on Tourism and Wildlife to introduce the members for one minute. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Luto, all protocols of SAP, uh, I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Kenyan Assembly, uh, Tourism and Drive Committee, to recognize the members who are present. Maybe they can be upstanding. Yeah, we have Mwesimwa Kolei, we have Mwesimwa Innocent Mugabe, and we have Mwesimwa Mutai on behalf of the team. Your Excellency, Allow me just a, a minute to appreciate the current leadership in the Ministry of Tourism and Old Life. The team is working closely so that we can really be able to achieve our objective. Lastly, Your Excellency, tourism and hospitality sector, it is private sector and driving. Basically, we get very little allocation from national government. It is through the resources which is internally generated which is able to profile the tourism sector to what it is. Your Excellency, we are getting stiff competition within the region. And for us really to be able to compete with the others, other destinations, Your Excellency, our humble request, and from where I sit as the Chair of National of uh, Tourism and Drive Committee, you are able to generate adequate resources internally. However, Your Excellency, the ceilings which are set by the National Treasury does not permit us to flow that, ban that money back to KTB and all the other related sectors. So, Your Excellency, our humble prayer is for National Treasury to be able to uh, increase the ceiling which, of the resources which is needed so that we can really be able to make Kenya the, 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 uh, the best destination which we have in the country. Last year, Your Excellency, two weeks ago I was in UK and I met uh, the Black Knight football clubs and they are all willing to come and work together with us so that we can continue so kissing Kenya at the destination in Africa and in the rest of the world. Thank you, Excellency, sir. Thank you, Your Excellency. Allow me also to introduce my cabinet colleagues who have joined us today, starting with the CS for Investment, Trade and Industry, Salim Mvuria. Tourism is, in, is investment and trade in services. We trade in joy and adventure and we'll work closely with you. The CS for roads and transport, there is no tourism without transport. The CS for education, we partner, there is a lot of capacity building that is required. I will then introduce the PSs who have joined today. If you could kindly stand, starting with PS for Tourism, John Ololtua, PS for Wildlife, Sylvia Musea. We have PS Abubakar for Investment. We have a C PS for Cooperative, Mr. Kilemi. We have the Solicitor General, Shadrach Mose. We have UMI for culture. We have PS Kaituko. We have PS for correctional services, uh, Biako. And finally, PS for transport, for roads, Engineer Joseph Mbugwa. I will then introduce all the chairmen of the agencies that are here, not by name, but they can all stand, we recognize them, starting with the chair of KTB, they are all here, plus your board members, kindly stand, and the CEOs present, and all government officials who have attended today, 
you're welcome, Your Excellency, the whole country is here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, I want to thank you very much for the valuable time you have set aside to join us today, a testament that you really value the tourism sector. We thank you for your guidance and for the leadership. Today marks a historical moment in our industry as we gather here to reimagine how to promote destination Kenya. Your Excellency, we intend to double our numbers and we have a whole strategy that we've taken you through. We are working on diversifying the products, increasing safety and security, digitizing among others, and we are grateful that this is a starting moment. We want to assure you, Your Excellency, that we will not tire until we have a fully thriving tourism sector. With those few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, join me. We stand in welcoming His Excellency, the President, Mr. President. Opportunity. First, to welcome all our guests, friends, partners from different parts of the world and from different parts of our continent to Nairobi and to Kenya. I am delighted to welcome you to this very important event today and to our visitors from abroad, welcome to Nairobi our vibrant, modern, and diverse capital city that embodies the spirit of Kenya. As the governor of the city has said, this is a city that doesn't sleep, and you will experience the rich hospitality and dynamic culture that Lonely Planet recognized when it named Nairobi the world's top city in its Best in Travel 2024 rankings. If you are looking for the city that Lonely Planet said is the best, top city in the year 2024, I want to inform you that you are in Nairobi, and that is where it is. Kenya, as we all know and has been said ably, is the cradle of humanity, with a wealth of archaeological evidence identifying the East African savanna as the site where our earliest ancestors lived. Specifically, the Lake Turkana Basin in northern Kenya is where some of the earliest human remains were discovered. We proudly embrace this heritage, welcoming you back to humanity's first home. As the Turkana people would say, Tobongu Lore, it also means welcome home, Karibu Nyumbani. It is with great pride that I welcome all of you on behalf of the people of Kenya, and I want to urge you to explore, connect, and celebrate. Today marks the official opening of this year's edition of the Magical Kenya Tourism Expo, a critical event, especially as it takes place against the backdrop of a resurgent tourism sector. The name Magical Kenya reflects our status as a premier global tourism destination and the Expo serves as a top platform for stakeholders to showcase our country's unique offerings to the whole world. Tourism is fundamental to Kenya's economy, contributing significantly to employment, foreign exchange, infrastructure development, and hospitality growth. By the end of 2023, Kenya welcomed over 2 million visitors, generating Kenya shillings 350 billion in revenue, a clear indicator of our global appeal. 
on target is to attract 5 million visitors annually by 2027. Achieving this requires concerted efforts from all players in the sector to position Kenya as a must-visit destination. That 5 million is attainable. I'm informed by the Ministry of Tourism, and Rebecca has given me her undertaking, that by the end of this year, we will have received the highest tourists in Kenya's history at 2.5 million tourists. <laughs> Rebecca, I will be waiting and counting. And by 2027, as I have said, we want to have 5 million tourists. And that is the reason why we need to expand our airport. We need to expand our facilities. We need to expand hospitality facilities across Kenya because we have the best premier, project, uh, premier destination in the world. Platforms like Magical Kenya Travel Expo are crucial, therefore, in realizing this vision. For 14 years, the Expo has provided a, re a reliable platform for B2B meetings, connecting African tourism leaders with global buyers and offering local exhibitors cost-effective promotion and networking opportunities, therefore enabling Kenyan business, even at the counties, to partner with important actors in the international market. And I'm happy that we, in our presence we have leaders of counties, governors, we have different stakeholders from different counties, and we are um, privileged to host mayors from other cities in our continent as we project Africa, Kenya in the middle of it, as a destination for visiting by tourists globally. For its part, the government is supporting the sector to achieve its full potential by implementing a number of key interventions. In infrastructure development, we are investing heavily in upgrading transport networks in key tourism areas such as the coast, Masai Mara, and northern Kenya. The recent opening of the Dongo Kundu Road has enhanced coastal tourism by easing travel and road expansion projects are ongoing to connect Mombasa, Diani, Malindi, and other coastal cities. In the hospitality sector, we have streamlined business operations to attract investments, offering incentives and enabling environment to support private investment in diverse accommodations, from luxury resorts to eco-friendly lodges and budget hotels. The recent launch of JW Marriott Hotel in Nairobi highlights Kenya's potential to attract top hospitality brands creating new job opportunities for Kenyans and creating a better environment and better facilities for our visitors. Our comprehensive development strategy for the tourism industry also caters for cultural diversification and cultural preservation. Our incredible diversity with over 40 distinct cultures offers visitors the chance to immerse themselves in our rich cultural heritage. Cultural tourism not only boosts economic growth, but also serves as a medium to preserve heritage and strengthen global ties. From vibrant pastoralist traditions to ancient coastal cultures, our cultural diversity enhances Kenya's global appeal. This is closely intertwined with Kenya's unique identity as the home of human origins and therefore the first home of humanity. To actualize this identity, we have implemented a visa-free policy, making it easy for us to welcome people from every part of the world, both tourists and business travelers, to visit Kenya and for all our visitors to come home without any difficulty. You all agree that it, not, it will not be fair to ask anybody going home for a visa. Because if you are coming to Kenya and you are coming home, it's only fair that you come home without any entrances of requirements of travel documents. <laughs> to actualize in this respect, I am pleased to announce yet another milestone 
of introduction of digital nomad work permit, specifically designed to welcome global digital professionals, allowing them to live and work in Kenya while enjoying the country's natural beauty and high quality lifestyle. Kenya can be your home where you and your family can experience the wonders of magical Kenya every day, all while serving clients from anywhere in the world on your digital platform. And it is the reason why we are expanding our fiber optic footprint across Kenya so that from any part of Kenya you can work because you will be connected. Additionally, we are introducing a transit and long connection travelers electronic travel authorization. Again, another milestone which enables transit visitors to step out of the airport and explore the beauty of their home away from home. It will now be possible for travelers who have 12 hours, instead of spending it at the airport, they can step out, they can come and enjoy a meal in the city, they can go to the national park, they can see our wildlife, they can visit the, our national museum and be able to travel back. And that visa arrangement is being rolled out to make sure that we have additional numbers of people visiting our country. Travelers at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport with time between connections, therefore, will now be able to immerse themselves in magical Kenya instead of waiting at terminals. As you go about your various engagements in this expo, I would like to share a few, a few highlights from my personal Kenya bucket list experiences that I believe will give you a window into the essence of magical Kenya. Number one, explore the Lake Turkana Basin, the site of some of the earliest human remains set against the backdrop of majestic Jet Sea, earning Kenya its reputation as the home of human origins. Discover the secrets behind Kenya's dominance in long distance running by experiencing the legendary atmosphere of Iten. If you are lucky, you may even run alongside champions like Eliud Kipchoge, Faith Kibiegon, and many of the people you see running in the Olympics and winning. And you will understand why Kenya is known as the home of great marathoners. Visit Nairobi National Park because Nairobi is the only city with a game park within its limits and close canopy forest nearby, offering world-class urban and wildlife experience. By the way, Nairobi National Park is just three minutes from here, for those of you who may want to sample it this afternoon. You could also choose to scale Mount Kenya, Africa's second highest peak or trek, the Trans Rift Trail in Kerio Valley, from the pristine white sands of our coastline to the dramatic escap escapements of the Rift Valley, Kenya is a land of scenic wonders, truly the home of breathtaking landscapes and thrilling adventures. Explore the rich culture that fuses along Kenya's coastline, where centuries of trade have shaped a heritage that has profoundly influenced global civilization. Embrace ecotourism by, visit, by visiting community-run conservancies where wildlife conservation is intertwined with local culture supporting sustainable tourism. Or you may choose to serve our global renowned Kenyan tea, coffee, and fresh produce directly from our agricultural heartlands while supporting local farmers and experiencing farm-to-table authenticity. You could also opt to experience Kenya's iconic wildlife in its renowned national parks from the spectacular Great Migration in the Masai Mara to the majestic elephants of the Amboseli. Take advantage of Kenya's high-speed internet, mobile money systems, and innovation hubs 
that connect the Silicon Savannah to the global tech scene, making it ideal for travelers, digital nomads, and innovators alike. You could also choose to explore the dynamic business and leisure opportunities in cities like Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru, Eldoret, which are driving Kenya's rapid urbanization and growth. There are just a few things, and these are just some of the experiences that make Kenya truly extraordinary. I invite you to explore, connect with our people, and celebrate everything that makes Kenya a top global destination. Again, let me repeat, Tobong Lore, Karibu Nyumbani, welcome home to Kenya, to all of you. Asante Nisama. That is Discover His Excellency has experience. articulated, which is known as the bucket list. Kindly, let's take our seats. Please, let's take our seats. And these are must-see places in Kenya known as the bucket list. Discover, experience, and explore pure cultural immersion in Kenya. A home of human origins with a cultural fabric that boasts over 40 unique tribes spread across the country. The home of breathtaking landscapes and thrilling adventures with over 30 towns and lakes, diverse flora and fauna, and an unparalleled sense of accomplishment. Come and discover authentic ecotourism, where community and conservation come together. Kenya, the home of great marathoners, where human potential knows no bounds. The vibrant capital city life of Nairobi that is home to a world-class wildlife park. Experience authentic farm-to-table in the coffee and tea plantations and the beautiful flower farms. Discover the silicon savannah and innovation hubs that have a thriving technological ecosystem fostering digital innovation and entrepreneurship. The home of Swahili, where culture and trade are seamlessly married. The home of vibrant cities, the home of the original safari where you can discover Kenya's iconic safaris from Samburu to Amboseli, Laikipia and the Great Mara. Come discover Kenya, where every experience tells a story. A round of applause, that's the bucket list. So Your Excellency, if I may request... Another round of applause, please, for the bucket list. Must see places for Kenya. At this point, Your Excellency, I'll request that you be presented by, with a gift by the chair KTB, Kenya Tourism Board. There is a gift to be presented. And may I request that to flank, we have the CS Tourism, we have the PS Tourism and PS Wildlife, together with the CEO KTB, to just come and flank as... His Excellency receives that, um, that gift from the KTB board. Let's also prepare for photo number two, where we have Fred Kaigua, Nicanor Sabula, Mike Masharia, Philip Kibet, Julia Sowino, Liz Aluvanze, to be pleased coming forward. The second and final photo is going to be Fred Kaigua, Nicaro Sabola, Mike Masharia, Philip Kibet Rono, Julia Sowino, Liz Aluvanze, and a representative from Kenya Community Based Tourism Network. If I, okay, the photo is taken, so I may, if 